Hi everyone, I hope you're doing well. In this video, I'm trying to troubleshoot this particular problem. I just logged into my storefront portal and when I when I try to click on the Citrix VDI, it just keeps loading. So it is doing that for the last one minute, but it doesn't launch the application. So this is the issue. Let's wait for a couple of seconds and see how it goes. Okay, it says cannot start desktop. So the VDI is not launching so let's do one thing let's try to launch another application not a vdi but but general application seems like it is doing the same thing All right, it says cannot start app MS Paint. It just keeps loading. Okay, it still says the same thing cannot start app snipping tool. Uh, let's check the status of this machine once Okay, so let's go to Citrix studio. So this is the machine Let me try to refresh and see the status of this machine Takes a couple of seconds to load. All right, the machine is in unregistered state. Maybe that's the reason why the machine is not launching. The applications are not launching. So let's try to troubleshoot this problem. Okay, the very first thing what we can do is, uh, let's check the status of this machine. I think it's already turned on. Yeah, the machine is turned on. It looks okay. So let's try to check a couple of things now. Okay, there is a, a red color exclamation mark here. When I put the cursor, it says the machine is not registered, but should be. But it doesn't give any other details. So let me let me check a couple of things. Okay, let's do one thing. Let's try to Okay, so let's try to ping the VDA machine from delivery controller, okay? So this is delivery controller. Let's try to check the connectivity. Okay, it seems like it is not responding. Ping is not happening. So it says uh, reply from 192.168.160.130 destination host unreachable. Okay, but the machine is on, right? 
if you see over the back end the machine is on but for some reason it is not able to communicate with the VDA machine so let's see what is happening let's check the firewall first okay looks okay it's disabled the firewall is disabled on this machine uh, let's try to connect to the VDA machine now just to make sure if everything is look okay there I think this is the IP address but uh, let me cross check let me put the let me go to controller Okay, it's VDI 03 if I'm not wrong. Okay, let's do one thing. Let's connect from here. Okay, this should be this should be the right IP 192.168.162.03. Let me connect now. Okay, it's connecting. Let me try to take RDP to the machine. Yeah, it's vdi03.narish.com. So, okay, I'm trying to take RDP to the machine, to the VDA. Okay, from here, let's try to ping controller and see how it goes. Okay, from here, from VDA machine, we can communicate with the controller. From controller, but we are not able to communicate with the VDA machine for some strange reason. Okay, let's do one thing. Let's try to check the firewall settings here. Firewall.cpl, okay. All right. Uh, okay, if you see here, the firewall is turned on here for domain networks. Maybe this could be the reason. Let's try to, okay, let me click on this. Let me just disable this firewall for the time being and see how it goes. Okay, I have disabled it. And now let's do one thing. Let's try to communicate the VDA machine again from the controller and see how it goes okay it says destination it still says destination host unreachable okay we have just disabled firewall on the video machine but it still says destination host unreachable let's wait for a couple of seconds and see how it goes So whenever there is a firewall between two machines, you know, if the firewall is turned on, especially, you know, the communication will not happen between the delivery controller and the VDA machine. Okay, it's still, it says destination host unreachable. Yeah. Uh, let me do one thing. Let's try to refresh and see how it goes. Okay, it still says unregistered. Let's cross check once. Okay, on the controller, firewall is disabled. Now let's go to the VDA machine. Here as well, the firewall is disabled. I am pretty sure. Okay, so everything uh, is disabled, but still the communication is not happening between these two machines. Okay, let's do one thing. Let's do one thing. Let's let me go to services. 
Okay. Okay, if you see here Citrix desktop service, it is in a running state. So it's fine, but let me try to restart and see how it goes. Okay, now I have I have restarted Citrix desktop service. It's in a running state. Now let me go back and refresh and see how it goes. Okay, I'm going to refresh and see the status of the machine. Okay, it says it says unregistered still. Let me refresh once again. Sometimes it takes a few seconds for us to uh, reflect the changes. Okay, I see some error message this time. It just cannot find path GPO SF storefront address okay, because it does not exist. All right, if you see now, the machine has gone to registered state. It says unregistered zero. Okay, let me just click on it. It's coming up. The machine has just changed to registered state from unregistered. Let me just refresh. By the way, guys, if you like the video, please like and subscribe to the channel. It's quite difficult to make videos in the night time. So some people want me to have audio. I prefer not to have audio when I make videos in the night time. So I'm trying my level best. Anyways, uh, if you see now, the registration status, status is registered. OK, so it, it all looks good now. Let me try to launch the application and see how it goes. OK, now let me minimize this, minimize everything. OK. Let me log off from this machine. This is the video machine I'm just trying to log off so that I can connect it through Citrix. Now let me connect this machine through Citrix. All right, now the status is registered. Now let's try to launch the application, launch the VDI and see how it goes. All right, it's trying to launch this time. We are almost in. All right, guys, we logged in successfully. I hope you find this uh, video helpful. Thank you for watching. I'll catch you in the next video. Bye-bye.